Question two. Find in the form r equals a plus tb an equation of the line l to the points 4, 2, 7 and 5, minus 4, 1. Well, we, we just talked about this, haven't we? That, that if you've got, you've got the, the classic kind of thing, you've got two points that you know where they are in relation to the fixed origin. And so you need to work out how to get from one point to the other. So um, let's, let's set this up. Let's let OA be 427 and OB is 5 minus 4 minus 1. So we've set these up as vectors to start with. Um, so we want to find the vector between them. AB is minus that one plus that one. So it's minus 427 plus 5 minus 4 minus 1, which gives us what's that? 1, negative 6, negative 8. And then the equation is just r is a is a vector on the line. So let's let's take a as we call it, because that seems the simplest thing to do plus the parameter times the direction of the line. And there we go. And, and it's by no means unique. So there, instead of 47, we could have put 5 minus 4 minus 1 as our position on the line. And here, instead of 1 minus 6 minus 8, we could have had minus 1, 6, 8. It would have worked just as well. So that's our equation of the line through those two points. Um, part 2, find the acute angle between the line L and a line in the direction of the vector 1, 2, 3. Well, the important thing here, if we're finding the, the angle between the line and another vector, it's not that bit, is it? It's the direction that the line is going. So it's the 1, minus 6, minus 8 vector that we're interested in. And remember, we just wrote down the rule that says a dot b is magnitude of a, magnitude of b cos theta. So if you rearrange that, you may want to remember cos theta as being a dot b over magnitude of a times magnitude of b. So we're going to use that. We're going to use the direction vector and the other direction that the question gave us and work this through. So cos theta is 1, 2, 3 dotted with 1. Minus 6 minus 8 over the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared times the square root of 1 squared plus minus 6 squared plus minus 8 squared. And we're just going to carefully work this out. Cos theta is, remember how we do the, the scalar product, 1 times 1 plus 2 times minus 6. Plus 3 times minus 8. Top line. At the bottom line, you can, of course, use your calculator to do this. Um, we've got, what is that? Root 14. And this one would be root 101. I think. Um, so that is. And then we do inverse cos of that. Now, um, you can give your answer in radians if you would like to, or you can give your answer in degrees. Um, if you just do this, I'll put my calculator back to degrees. If you just do inverse cos of that, then the calculator is going to say theta equals 158.56 degrees. And the question said, find the acute angle between the line and the direction vector. So what we do, if that's, if that's the obtuse angle, we find the acute angle by doing 180 minus that. I don't know 
one comes out to be 21.4 degrees in three significant figures. And there we go. That's, that would be all there is. That's some um, maths.